Hi, your next challenge is entitled Calculate the Mean. You are to create a function that takes an array of numbers and returns the mean value. And we see that the array contains integers. If you know how to do a mean, you sum up all the values and divide by the number of values given. That's, that's what you do for a, to get a mean average. And so you can do that and verify that these answers are correct. But do note that you are asked to round to two decimal places. That's why you get these results. And you can expect a number ranging from 0 to 10,000. OK. So you probably know how to do averages. Let's go over to the code. Please pause and try this yourself first. OK, so you could do a for loop, right? Have some kind of sum variable. and add to that each time through the loop, but there is a very handy method that you can use for enumerables, and it's called sum. Using the link namespace, uh, let me see you have this array, in this case it's floats, we're going to be using ints, but you just call this dot sum method, and it takes care of that work for you. So I'm going to do the same thing, let's say array sum and that should add up all the values for me. Now to get a mean value, like I said, you have to divide by the size of the array. So um, what we have here has some problems. This is an integer value. Oops, it's a method, so I gotta call that. This is an integer value. The length is an integer value. When you do integer division, um, it gives you an integer back, which means if there's a decimal component to your answer, it's just sort of lost. So what I'm going to do is convert one of these to a double, so it, it preserves that and it does the math as a double. I don't want it to truncate anything at this point. Eventually, we'll round to two decimal places, but for now, I want the, the real answer. So we've got that. That gave us our average. And I'll write this out in a couple steps to maybe make it a little more clear. This is your mean, the sum over the size. Uh, yeah, coming out as a double, good. And then we have a method for rounding, which is nice. In the math class, it's called round. And the overload I want is this one where you take the double that you want to round, and an integer value, say, in the number of places that you want to round to. Nice and easy. That'll be two for us, right? Let's see if they have an example. Uh, values, math round value two. So yeah, you could see these ones coming out with two decimal places there. We're going to do the same thing. So you can say return mean. Um, math round, that's how they did it, mean, that's the number we want around, and then two, saying we want two decimal places. And I think this will work for us. Oh, we have to include the link namespace, so that should blow up. And let's check round using the system namespace. Let's add that. OK. Let's see what we get now. Good, there we go. We got it. So yeah, and then we talked about how with methods, you can do chaining. It can get ugly if you chain too many calls together, but I don't think it's terrible in this case. So you could simplify this, right? You could say something like um, instead of creating that temporary variable there, you could say whatever this value is, call round. Uh, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. With the way the round method works, we can't do that. 
um, scratch that. So we'll go back to how we had it. At the mountain mean, what you would do instead is to take this part and put it in for mean. But um, we saw it sort of chaining in the other video. But yeah, the way the, the round method works, we're going to put our calculation in for the mean value without creating a variable there. So this should do the same result. I'll run it to make sure. Go over to the code. Put this in. Math round array sum divided by array length. I think enough people recognize sum over a length to realize that's a mean word. This isn't messy, it's pretty readable. So I think that's okay. We'll check that. But yeah, you can imagine with a really complicated calculation how it can look really messy if you just write some big statement in here. A lot of times in those cases I will break it out into separate variables. I'll have that mean one I used before and if I'll make as many as necessary to sort of make things readable. But I don't think it's bad here. This looks good. Math round. So yeah, that's one way to do it. Feel free to share your solutions or um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.